Okay, so in this series we're going to start looking at three minute maths and this is all about how to add fractions. So the first thing about adding fractions is you need to make sure that the denominator, which is the number on the bottom, is the same. So it's fairly straightforward. If you get something like 3 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth, you just simply add the two fractions together. So 3 plus 1 is 4 sixteenths. So fairly straightforward. The only thing you need to remember is that when you're dealing with fractions you need to make them as small as possible. So what we do is we divide the top number by 4 and the bottom number by 4 and that becomes 1 quarter. So that would be the answer to this question. Now let's say that the question that you're presented with also has numbers in it. So it might be something like 5 and 3 sixteenths plus 2. Well all you do with that, you add the two numbers together and you get 7 and then 3 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth is 4 sixteenths reduce it so that would become 7 and a quarter. So fairly straightforward when the denominators which is the numbers at the bottom are the same. So let's say for instance that they're different so let's say we've got 2 thirds plus one quarter. Okay, well the thing we need to do with that is make sure these numbers become the same number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert them to something over 12 plus something over 12. So 3 times 4 is 12, so therefore I multiply the top by 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, so therefore I'm going to multiply the top number by 3. So that becomes then the same as we had before, so 8 12 plus 3 12 will be 11 12. Now in terms of a typical exam paper, you're probably going to get something like 5 and 2 thirds plus 4 and a quarter. Well, the way to do that, add the two integers together or the two numbers together and you get 9. Add the two fractions together and you get 11 12. That's pretty much all there is to adding fractions. The only other thing that you need to remember is occasionally you might use this type of method and you'll end up with something, an answer something like 12 and 14 elevenths. Okay, well that just needs a little bit of tidying up and what we do is convert some of those elevenths into a whole number and that becomes 13 and 3 elevenths. So in terms of a typical exam paper it would be that one and you always need to make sure when adding fractions that the denominators are the same, so twelfths in this particular case. I hope that's been helpful, I look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.